Hello, this is Angela Anderson with Thankful Art. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be showing you how to draw these cardinals. Um, I'll be teaching the painting portion of this in another video. Uh, it'll be a special collaboration project that I'm doing with Cinnamon Cooney, the Art Sherpa. And we'll be doing that on November 21st, 2015. Um, so, but today I'm just going to show you how to draw this. I will have the um, traceable available on our Facebook page. So if you want to join our group on Facebook, I'll have the link in the description. Um, and if you enjoy this project and you want to subscribe, I'd love that. And please share it with your friends and watch us tomorrow uh, when we do our live event. Okay, so the main part of the cardinal body is kind of an egg shape. So it's like an egg that is sitting on its side like that, right? Then the head portion of it comes up and sort of just sets on top of it like that. It's sort of small relative to the body size. So don't do his head too big. Then the peak on his feathers comes straight back off of his forehead, almost at a 45 degree angle there. And then you just do a triangle down and match it up with the back of his head like that. So this is kind of a triangle shape up there and that slips straight down into his forehead and then you'll match it up with the body right here. So the beak portion is right where this and this meets. So and his beak is kind of a diamond shape like that. Or kite on its side or something. This portion right here is smaller than this right here. Okay, then this angles down a little bit like he's frowning. Okay, then the eye sets back just a little ways from here, just in this little pocket right there, right between the, the front, upper, and lower part of the beak. Right there, just the upper part of the beak right there, right? Okay, then his coloring comes straight in from the side and matches up right there to the eye and then comes down, almost straight down and just under his chin right here. Okay, so that's the dark part and then you can erase the parts that are showing there. Okay. So continue that around. Then for his wing, you're going to kind of come down like this. So instead of curving it in, it kind of comes straight back almost. Follow that line. And then about, not quite halfway, split that body part right here and his little shoulder comes down like that from the back of his head. Then there's a couple of wing details in here. We're not going to get too fussy with that part. If you want to do a little bit more details on his wings there you can look up a reference photo and just kind of try to follow that. But this we're just kind of getting the basic shapes in here for our painting. Okay, so we're going to follow that line almost straight down right here from the top of the be top of the head down, right? And follow that line down for his tail feathers. And they're fairly thin. Just do two parallel lines there. And then they thickens up as it gets to the body. And there's an area right here that's a little bit thicker. And then there's a darker area right here. Okay. All right, so we'll just erase this part. And erase 
erase all of this up here. We don't need any of that. And this will be a little bit uh, jagged like that. It's not, it's not a straight line right there. And that's pretty much our cardinal male. Once you get this traced on, then we can, we'll fill it in when we're painting it. But that's pretty much your basic shapes. Then his feet are going to come in, they angle in toward the branch. So, and they're about right up underneath that wing right there. So, don't do them too far forward on his body. They kind of, you do two little lines coming out. And they'll wrap around. There'll be three little claws that wrap around whatever the branch is. So we can make our branch go in under his feet there. Okay. And then for the female, this branch is going to come down like this. And you could do it either way. You could put in the branch first and then try to build the bird around it, or I just find it's easier to me to do the bird first and then I can work the branches around it. This branch is coming up like this. Well, it's a little closer. It's coming up like that and around. So she's going to be right in here. Okay. So she's about, if you check her width here, she's about a full width away. Her body is about the full width away from his on that branch. And she's just slightly lower. So, and honestly, it doesn't matter. We're all making this up anyways, so if yours is higher or lower or wherever you want to put her on the branch, that's fine. We'll just work our branches around her. So um, don't get caught up on that part of it. But um, on my example, I'm about a full bird width away from him. Okay? So that'll help if you kind of use your fingers to figure out how far away to put her. I'm going to put her right here so we can see her while we're drawing and she's pretty easy because she's basically just a big old oval right she's a big oval and you can make her as fluffy as you want her um, you just don't want her to get too tall compared to him so her beak should start about right here I think So her head would be right in here. Okay, it might make her shoulders a little bit tighter in here. Okay, so here's her little head. Then her forehead. Let me erase these lines I don't need. If you draw lightly like this, um, this is the way I like to draw. It's not particularly clean necessarily, but it allows me a lot of freedom. You don't have to worry about making a mistake. Just kind of draw lightly and quickly. And then once you get done, you can pick the lines that you like the best. Okay, so hers is like a, there's a little bit of a curve right here, but then she kind of comes up at an angle this way. And then does a little party hat on top. It's like a triangle right there. And this comes almost straight down from here. And then it curves in just where her neck is, right here. Okay. And then her body's down here like this. And if you want to check against your male cardinal, her body should be about the same distance from her beak to her 
where her tail starts as his is, right? So that's a good way to check to see if you're getting your sizing right. Right about there, okay? So it's going to come in quite narrow right here. And then her tail is right up under her head. And it, it's about a little bit a little bit smaller than her body length. So I didn't talk about that on him. But it's just shorter, a little bit shorter than the body length, the tail. Okay. Then there's a split right down the middle here. And there's several layers of feathers. So we're just going to indicate that today. This comes down sort of like a V shape right there, the bottom of her body. And then her wings are on either side. I'm going to erase that because it's bugging me. Her wings come out just slightly from the body. You don't see much of them on the sides here. And you just see a little bit of them peeking out on either side of her body. Okay. Just like that. And then this branch comes through and you just see her feet. You don't see any of her legs on her because they're kind of tucked up underneath her body here because of the angle that we're seeing them from. So Then her beak is pointing up a little bit towards him slightly, like she's kind of looking up at him a little bit. And it's right there again where the the at the bottom of the head where the curve starts. You're just going to come just up above it. And the beak comes in the the eye on this one is about half right smack dab in the middle. Don't let that freak you out. Um, some people, I don't know, I think that they think that the eye has to be on the side over here or over here, and they don't realize that it actually is really right in the middle um, there. Same thing on him. This one, this time it's not quite in the middle of his head. It's just slightly forward from the middle, okay? But this one, on this one, her eye is definitely right in the middle there of her head. And then this beak is pretty close. To it. There's just a little bit of a separation, and here again, we're going to keep the eye at the top half of the beak. So find your beak center line here. Make your little kite or your diamond shape there, and put the, put the eye right off to the side just a little bit and up in that upper area of the beak. Okay, then her coloring kind of wraps around the beak. Make sure you don't set that beak on the end here either. You don't want her beak, um, this part should be well inside her head. You don't want it setting on the edge of her head, of her face, whatever. At least the perspective that we're drawing it. Okay, then this is kind of a, just a little bit of an outline is this is this part's going to be black and then there's going to be some lighter brown shading that kind of comes out around it too so there we go his beak could be a little bit thicker the cardinals have pretty thick beaks they're not very dainty birds they're really hardy i guess they got to be tough because they're they're, they don't migrate, so that's why you have all those really great pictures of the cardinals out in the snow, because they stick around and they tough it out during the winter time. Um, okay, so there's our male and female. I kind of probably could have put it a little higher, but I don't have a square sheet here that I'm working on. So um, when you do your sketching, just try to do it on a large large sheet. Get it as close to 12 by 12 is what the size of our canvas that we'll be using. And then um, you can roughen your branches. I just kind of looked for my open areas and just put in branches wherever I saw kind of an open area. Our pine cone is going to be 
basically I just sort of did circles getting smaller like that kind of a cone shape and then when we paint it we'll just do some layering um, like this around it we'll do some kind of lines in it so if you want to draw it more fancy you can but I didn't do a whole lot of detail on the pine cone pine cones are super fun to paint so and I really love painting pine needles too I hope you enjoy it because they are um, just basically a bunch of lines as long as you get your your lines going in the right direction um, you can't really mess them up so you just kind of do a bunch of lines this way and a bunch of lines this way and overlap them a few in the middle going straight <clears throat> Make sure this is continuing on the right track there. Bunch of lines this way, bunch of lines that way, off the main branch. Honestly, this is about as detailed as I get when I'm sketching out for a painting. I don't do a lot of pre-sketching. That's just my preference. I prefer to paint as I go and figure it out as I go on the canvas. But if you want to get super detail. This could be a really nice drawing if you colored it in. Okay, and do a little bit more on this one. Scribble this direction, scribble that direction. Just make sure you're pointing it up toward the outside. As you get toward the top here, they kind of come toward the middle. And we're good. So, this one has a little bit more room to the side here than my drawing, my square canvas does, so I was filling it in. But, hope you join us tomorrow. Um, try this drawing. I hope you enjoyed drawing the cardinals. If you don't want to draw the cardinals, I will have the tricycle available on Facebook for you. So, um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for our Angelouni Live Winter Painting event. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.